Hi, David. My name is Bertel Ameshko. I'm a medical doctor in Hungary. Uh, I'm tweeting under the name Bercy, and uh, for the last many years now, I've been trying to help physicians and medical students and also e-patients uh, learn to use social media efficiently. That's why I launched in 2008 the world's first uh, university course focusing on all the social media platforms and concepts for medical students and physicians. And now, just a few months ago, I just uh, launched the digital format of the course. So then, any medical students and physicians in the world can access the lectures, do the tests, and get the final certification called the ultimate expert of social media. So when are you offering transferable credits? Exactly. <laughs> and now, I do the course, uh, I teach the course at universities in Hungary, the biggest medical school in Central Europe, and students get credit points for finishing the course. They go in a digital format, uh, they get a certification, but I'm working on giving them CME accreditation as well in a few, few months' time. Well, that's terrific. So do you have any particular area where you get most of your students from online? Actually, I'd be using my social media accounts for spreading the word about this digital course. I was also lucky to contact uh, many medical student associations and, uh, and physician organizations around the world. For example, after uh, my email, after a few minutes after my email, uh, the Australian Medical Student Association uh, loved the idea and they started spreading the word about it. So I'm quite lucky to, ha to, be, to have access to such huge online medical communities. Well, that's fantastic. Well, you're really spreading the word about this, uh, these tools and uh, certainly your, your reach is uh, informed by the work that you've done up until now. Uh, can you say a little bit about personalized medicine? Yeah, it's quite a, quite a great concept in, uh, in the developments of modern medicine. Actually, um, the reason why I also feel lucky is that I'm just finishing PhD in clinical genomics in which we try to predict responsiveness to different therapies based on genetic uh, analysis, which means it's, it can really bring personalized medicine to patients. And from my second perspective, in my second um, life or, or academic career, I'm, um, I'm working on finding new tools for digital, digital communication for patients and doctors. And these two areas should meet somewhere, because in personalized medicine, when you get only those treatments and that are relevant to your own genomic background, you will also need absolutely customized communication from your doctors or from peers and so on. So these areas will, will, will combine together to get, to, to get us to the real personalized medicine. So uh, I've heard a lot of, com of discussion in, in recent months about the you know, sort of questioning the value of sort of the personal genome, getting a 23andMe report or something like that. Do you see a day in the near future where that would be of clinical value to an individual? Well, this is a very long process. So after the, the completion of the Human Genome Project, we all expected to see amazing developments in, in medical diagnostics based on genomic results. And um, to be honest, there are some tools right now that we can use in everyday medicine. Um, so there are some real applications in clinical diagnostics that the FDA has approved in the last few years, even if there are only a few of them. But I believe that the, the main development for the next few years will be to see uh, a rising number of these clinical diagnostic tools that are based on genomic backgrounds. Um, myself, I had some tests uh, with companies like uh, Pathway Genomics and Navigenics. And um, so I saw their services from inside, and I think that is, there are some points in which they can uh, um, provide us with perfect results, such as uh, monogenic diseases or, uh, or therapy responsiveness or sensitivity. But in some other cases, it's quite tricky to tell someone the exact risk they have for a particular disease. I believe it's a matter of uh, time when we will get to a point when we will be able to, do, to provide useful information about genomic risk predictions for people. And so how do you tie together these uh, two parts of your work? Well, not, not that easy. Actually, it's, uh, it, it's, it's going to be simple in a few years' time, but right now to combine uh, genomic results in which I publish studies with uh, my research group and my other life in which I try to help patients and doctors through online tools. Uh, actually, these fields are combined together in those direct-to-consumer genomic companies, but regarding my own life, my own um, um, professional life, um, I believe it's going to take a few more years to, to find the best combination of these two fields of interest. Well, thank you very much, and I wish you the best of luck with combining those. Thank you, David. Thank you, Bercy.